Welcome to Multitest Tutorial Lesson 1, Creating a New Thesaurus or Taxonomy. In this lesson you will learn how to create a new thesaurus or taxonomy, different ways to add new terms to your vocabulary, and different ways to create relationships between terms. When you launch Multitest for the first time, the display area is blank. You need to create and name a thesaurus file first before you start entering terms. A file is called a thesaurus in Multitest, whether it's an actual thesaurus or a taxonomy. Go up to File and select New Thesaurus and type in the name. We're going to call this Geographic Locations. Hit Enter and the system prompts you to give the file a description. This is optional. Let's call it Thesaurus of Geographic Locations and hit Enter. Notice now that we have some column head headings here. That's where the terms will go. And up at the top is the name of the thesaurus file. So we need to enter terms to start creating our thesaurus. There are various ways to add individual terms. From the main menu, select Term. Under that, New Term. Notice the shortcut Control-N. This brings up the New Term box. Also, among these buttons here, there's New Term, and the same box appears. It's also possible to create new terms when you are creating a relationship from an existing term, but we're going to get to that later. Let's start with creating a new term. As geographic locations, our first term shall be United States of America. You can just hit Enter to save, and notice it has appeared in our term list, our, our first term of our thesaurus or taxonomy. Now we can create relationships between terms. Uh, a good way to see a summary is in the relationship wizard. In a standard thesaurus, there are three kinds of relationships between terms. There's the hierarchical, which is also in taxonomies, broader term, with abbreviation or code BT, narrower term with the code NT, and the associative relationship called related term with the code RT. In a thesaurus there are also the equivalence relationship which goes from a non-preferred term points to and says use to a preferred term and in the other direction a preferred term is used for a non-preferred term, and it has the code UF. You'll see two other codes here, SC for subject category, which needs to be defined, and SN for scope note. These are not actually relationships, but they are added and managed in the same relationship wizard, because these are the common actions you do with terms. Okay, so let's add here, we're going to do um, other ways to add relationships between terms is when a term is selected and it's blue in the background, you can click on Add Relationships from the Term Menu or the shortcut Control-A. Also is the Relationship Wizard. The difference here is that the codes are spelled out and the shorter one does not have it. Uh, and you saw here this button to relation, add relationship wizard. You can also right click on a selected term and you can have the relationship wizard or the quicker add relationships where you have the codes there. Finally, if you select a term, which we haven't done yet, double click on it, we get the term record. This has details about the term and buttons here where we can add relationships or use the relationship wizard. So let's start now with adding a relationship. We want to add a non-preferred term. If you remember, the code is UF used for. Select that and in the box we type in USA. The system tells us that the term doesn't exist yet. Do you want to add it? And the answer is yes. This is a good feature if your thesaurus is large uh, and you can't see it all and you don't want to add a term that's already similar to something's already there. 
However, if we wanted to, we could click this box, automatically add new terms if not found in the thesaurus, and we're going to add another non-preferred term, just United States, hit enter, and it's added right away. So now see that these two non-preferred terms with the code UF used for are added as relationships to the United States of America. And also note, if we scroll up, that they have been added to our term list. This area is called the main browser also. United States and USA are in italics. That's because they are non-preferred terms. And you can see here in the relationship column, they have the relationship use and United States of America has UF. The number two indicates it has two of those relationships and it might have other relationships in time as well. Uh, if we want to add another one, narrower term, New York, and now we have a narrower term. If we ever wanted to change a term, we click on the edit column and you can type something different, but I think it's good the way it is. You know, it says it's edited. Now, the United States of America is in bold. That's because it's a top term. A top term is a term that has narrower terms and no broader terms to it. United States of America has a narrower term of New York. Now, the, we've seen how we can add terms one by one and add relationships one by one, but you can also add several at the same time by using the quick data entry screen. Go under term and the next item there, quick data entry, also with the shortcut control Q, gives us a screen where we can enter multiple terms or multiple relationships. I'm going to add uh, several new terms, North America, South America, Europe, now it tells us we need to have a blank line in between each unless it's treated as a list. So I'll treat this as a list and that should work. Scroll up. Yes, we have the, the new terms there. They don't have any relationships. They was, were just terms without relationships. Also, we can add in the quick data entry screen multiple relationships to a term. United States of America, make sure I type it correctly, otherwise it'll come in twice. And I'll add some more narrower terms, NT California, NT Florida, uh, NT Massachusetts, and save. And these have all been added and they have broader term relationships. So you notice there's multiple relationships here. I want to add a relationship, a broader term to North America. Okay. So now we have a full set of relationships used for broader term, narrower term. And these, although they don't look hyperlinked, actually are. We can jump from one to another and the UFs as well. We can also use the quick data entry screen, not merely to type, but to copy and paste from a clipboard. We want to add all the states and I've, I've copied them elsewhere. And now we have them all added. You can also add a lot of terms and relationships at, at the same time by using the import feature under the file menu, but we're going to do that in another lesson. So this brings us to the end of lesson one.